Yes, it's happening. World Series action, baby. Zach Campbell with you here at Chase Field in Phoenix, Arizona. D-backs versus Texas Rangers. I am so excited. And just follow me around this way. You can see that there are already a whole bunch of people outside waiting to go in. This place is not even opening for another like hour and a half. So you can imagine just how crazy and hyped this place will be a little bit later. So got the glove. Obviously, you're going to try to catch lots of baseballs. There are commemorative balls used during World Series games, but probably not during BP. So, got to get a gamer, or in my case, I do know someone who might be able to hook it up for me. So, we'll see how that goes. But let's wander around right now, check out all the hype, everything that's happening, and then it's off to the races, man. Let's do it. There was basically nobody here half an hour ago, and you can see how long this line is now. The gates are opening three hours before first pitch, much earlier than usual. So when I run inside any moment, the D-back should be out on the field already doing their thing. Thank you. And a towel. All right. And a towel. There you go. Thanks a lot. D-backs BP is in the books and I was so excited to get in here early and put up monster numbers but it was a complete failure from my perspective of course really fun to be here but I did not come close to any baseballs there were a whole bunch of lefties hitting they didn't do anything they just could not hit home runs and so I still have a big fat zero for now D-backs are still hitting and of course the Rangers they'll take their turn after that so the day is young but I'm already a little bit nervous. If you guys have seen the videos that I've done at this stadium in the past, 
Well, you know that I like to camp out during BB on that wide concourse next to the batter's eye, both in left center and right center. So I used that strategy today, but it was so crowded out there. But I figured that was a better choice than being in the left field seats because it was completely packed down below. I mean, just look at that. What am I supposed to do down there? And there were some good hitters. Tommy Pham was up there taking some hacks in the cage. When I saw him at City Field in September, man, he put on a show. It was like the Home Run Derby. So I was ready for all kinds of action today on the concourse. But there was nothing. Well, one baseball that I came close to, but another fan reached out in front of me for that one. So I still have nothing. And the Diamondbacks are done hitting. So that is not good. The Rangers are just getting loose. And for right now, I want to head down the left field foul line. One of my friends with the D-backs is there, so I want to say hey to him, and we'll see what happens from there. I love you, man. Yeah. I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. You're welcome, guys. This is my buddy Nate. We've had him in some videos before. And what's up, man? Speak up so people can hear you. Hey, well, it's been a been a crazy run. And I, after we met in the summertime, after me and my kid, me and Jacob were watching that video and, and saw you in the stadium. I was like, oh man, that's a guy on TV. And then I don't know, we just start talking and it's a nice relationship and then I got a I got a foul ball in Texas that I really thought of you. So I got a World Series ball for you from Texas. Oh! Oh my god. Yo. Look at that. Wow. Well, I mean, that's that's pretty incredible. I was just, you know, struggling in the outfield trying to get just a regular ball because, I mean, they don't use these things during BP. So I will show you guys an even closer look at this logo right here. I mean, this is a thing of beauty. It's just so clean, nice design. No smudges or scuffs. No, I had a good time. My man. All right, man. Oh my god. Have a good time tonight. Well, catch a couple more. Hopefully, they're deep axe balls. I mean, I hope so. Now that I have this one out of the way, I think rather than like working the dugouts and foul balls, maybe I'll post up in the outfield somewhere, right? Sounds try, great. Try to catch a dinger. So it is nice to have friends in high up places, or low down places. He's on the field. <laughs> oh, look at this. One, two, three. All right, I can help. Have a great night. Thank you. We'll be back. Yes. All right. That's ridiculous. And I came prepared. You always got to bring the Ziploc bags just in case. There it is. It's all about the Ziploc bag. Huh. All right, let's go catch some more baseballs. You know, I really hate making excuses, but it has occurred to me over the years 
that it's much harder to catch baseballs when the very best hitters are not even hitting. And that was the case today for the Texas Rangers. Corey Seager and Adolis Garcia. Yet yeah, neither of those guys took BP. So there were definitely fewer opportunities as a result. But meanwhile, I just completely stunk up the joint. Left field, you saw how crowded that was. I didn't come close. And then I tried a different strategy for the second and final group. I went out to right center behind the swimming pool. Thought it might be a decent spot to get a toss up because it wasn't as crowded. But again, I just could not get close, could not get the player's attention. And so I got zero baseballs today from both teams combined during batting practice. The only ball I got, well, it was because I knew someone. So I'll definitely take it. Not only did I avoid the shutout, but of course it was a World Series ball, which is just epic. So, you know, I'm, I'm happy, but I'm also kind of embarrassed because I'm supposedly good at this, but today, Chase Field just completely neutralized me. But this is the World Series. It's still so fun to be here. And right now, there's more than an hour until first pitch. If you're thinking, like, wow, it's nice and empty in the seats. Yeah, it's going to be packed. So for right now, I want to take advantage of this time, wander a bit, soak up that World Series vibe, and just check out all the sights and sounds. man he's in his own world as always
scoreless through one inning and it is very hard to see from up here in the concourse, deep in left center, close to the batter side. But I think this is where I'm going to be posting up for the game. I do have a ticket in the upper deck, but you guys have seen the action here in the spot during batting practice in years past, so I'm hoping for more of that action tonight during a World Series game. One of my dreams is to catch a World Series home run, so it's not a very high probability spot, but I will give it a shot. And so, just wanted to say quickly that this is now the sixth different city in which I've been to a World Series game. Philadelphia, both at the old stadium, Veterans Stadium and Citizens Bank Park. All right, I've been to Fenway. I saw the Rangers play in Arlington at their old stadium in 2011. The Mets, I was there for three games in the 2015 World Series. And I was last at a World Series game in LA. I saw the Dodgers play the Astros in 2017. So it's nice to just see how it is in different cities. And I have to say, no disrespect, no shade intended for the fine folks here in Phoenix, but this is maybe the quietest World Series game I've ever been in. I'm sure that'll change in the late innings, but just something to note for now. So, yeah, it's pretty nuts here, but uh, we'll see how this goes. So yes, I am going back and forth behind the batter's eye, depending on who's hitting, and we have a righty up now, so back on this side for at least a moment. Seeger absolutely mashed that ball to right, a two-run home run. You can barely kind of almost see him rounding the bases right here. And so bottom three right now, Texas is on top, three nothing. So Max Scherzer, he's pitching great, but for the D-backs, Brandon fought, and not to this point. And check this out, look down here, because you can see that there are lines on this concourse where they basically put tape down, and this skinny little lane is designated as standing room, so if you pop out this way for just a sec, you can see everybody is mostly standing in the right spot, nice of security to allow this. So, you know, I, I'm always hopeful of catching a home run, but you can see how crowded it is, it's tough to move, it's tough to film, so doing my best. along to the sixth inning and the score has not changed. Rangers are still up three to nothing. Scherzer was taken out after three scoreless frames. Wonder what that was all about. And so for right now, I have to introduce a very special young man in the video. Come on over here and say, that's right, that's right. Say hi to YouTube. Hi YouTube. So hi, Joey. this is JJ and he is the son of Nate who hooked me up in the most epic way earlier. So, oh, there's a base hit. 
for Texas. So I can thank you for having such a cool dad. I think that's how it works. And I asked JJ just a moment ago, I'm like, wait, have you gotten a World Series ball? And the answer is, of course. Of course. I would feel bad if I got one and he didn't. We just couldn't have that. So we're both on the board with those special balls. But where's your glove? At home. Oh my God, I've taught this guy nothing. Bring your glove tomorrow for game four. I got you. All right, so uh, that's that's the story for right now. Um, what's your prediction for this game? D-backs are going to get on the board soon? D-backs are going to win! All right, I would like that, so let's see it. And my man, good meeting you. And hanging out, we're just chilling here for a bit. second. Our oldest Chapman is on the mound for the Rangers. So this is the time. Let's go. There was somewhat of a close call for me in the ninth inning when Mitch Garver crushed a deep fly ball in my direction. And at first I thought I might have a play on it, but unfortunately it fell short. And by the way, the distance on it was 412 feet. So that just goes to show how far balls do need to travel in order to reach this spot on the concourse. And unfortunately for Arizona, well, their offensive effort fell short as well. Tommy Pham went down swinging for the final out of this game. And to be fair, both teams did struggle at the plate tonight. There were only 11 hits total. Corey Seager hit the only homer, and the Rangers came out on top three to one. Winning pitcher tonight, John Gray, who threw three scoreless innings in relief. And I gotta give a shout out to Cattell Marte, who extended his postseason hitting streak to 19 games. That is an all-time Major League record, but in my opinion, his hit should have been ruled an error. It was a very hard line drive, but right at Marcus Simeon at second base, who allowed it to tip off the end of his glove. But still, goes in the books as a hit, so awesome job by Cattell Martin. As for me, well, I also gotta give a shout out to my buddy Nate with the D-backs for hooking this up, and yes, I pulled it out of the Ziploc bag to give you guys one more look at this thing. I am so happy to have this. So this was one of two baseballs that I got today. The other one, did I mention it was thrown by Marcus Simeon pregame? So I gave that one away, but both baseballs count for the lifetime total, which is now 12,408. So yeah, feeling great, but a little bummed for the D-backs. They are now losing this series two games to one, so maybe they can bounce back tomorrow and tie it up. I will be here, so look forward to that video. Oh, and I gotta shout out JJ because he's the man as well. And guys, thank you so very much for watching this one. I'm out. Two baseballs and one drone! Yeah, baby! Alright, now I'm really leaving. <laughs> 